Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to do a quick video on how you can record a track on your Minkota Ultrax trolling motor. Probably pretty similar to an Altera or any other trolling motor Minkota makes that will allow you to record a track. But the benefits of recording your track is if you're going to do something like long line trolling or trolling crankbaits, you can go record the path that you want to follow and then follow that path back and not have to worry about controlling your boat as you're out there trolling and fishing. So the, the trolling motor will take care of all the navigation. Before you begin recording a track, your trolling motor needs to be turned on. You don't need it to be deployed in the water. You could troll around with it if you wanted to and record a track, or you can just bring your trolling motor in, turn it on, and the way I like to record a track is I like to start up the, the boat and go about three, four, five miles per hour on the path that I want to go. That way I can down scan and side scan as I'm recording my track, just to make sure that's an area that I'm going to want to go back through. So on your remote, you have a record button right there in the bottom left part of your screen. If I click this button right here, it'll say receiving data. You can see I got a bunch of tracks in there. I'm just gonna overwrite the first one. I'm gonna say save on that first one. So right now it's started to record. I'm gonna fire the boat up. So we're gonna navigate around this arm down here, taking a path that I would likely take if I were gonna start trolling. I'll go ahead and have my down and side scan on. I've got my map on. I kind of like to look at the depth and contour lines as I'm going. Right out there, you can see there was a school of fish. You'll see my red track. That's exactly what it's gonna take me back on. So as we're driving around here, you'll see, it'll tell you in the top right corner how fast you're going. 3.6, 3.7 miles per hour, it matches my unit. It also shows you down here the distance you've gone. So we've gone just over 300 feet so far, 337. So we'll keep track of all of that. You can record up to six two mile long tracks on an old tracks. As we're driving around here, please take a minute, hit that like button on this video. If you haven't done so, please consider subscribing to the channel. Also leave a comment down below really appreciate that those likes and comments really help these videos out a lot on YouTube I really do appreciate everyone watching liking and supporting the channel there's quite a bit of fish down here you can see so I like both views for different reasons but what I really like about the down view is my depth here so I can see most of these fish are probably 25 feet and below a few of them stack up there. It's important to know. It's important to know the depth that you're going to be trolling for on what you're going to be targeting, how deep you need to get into the water column. Another thing you can do is, if you watch here, I'm going to make some very slight adjustments. You can't make sharp turns when you're trolling. You'll get your lines tangled up. But I've made a very slight left turn I'll go on this path for just a little bit and I'll make a very slight right turn. Rather than going straight, I like to do that left and right turn, just gradual, because what that does on your trolling lines that are out, when you make a left hand turn, those rods that are on the left hand side of your boat, that's your inside turn, they're going to slow down a little bit. The rods on the right hand side are going to speed up. It's going to change the depth zone and speed at which those lures are running in the water. Those kind of subtle differences can trigger bite. Just make things a little bit more erratic. I mean, I'm doing very minor turns. It doesn't take much. It was a beautiful day today. Very little breeze, maybe five, 10 miles per hour at most. Water temp is 74 degrees. It is prime time trolling weather, my friends. Always remember when you got that big motor running, you should have your PFD on and have your kill switch attached to your PFD. Even if you're just going three or four miles per hour, 
you never know anything mechanical could happen with the motor now just for the sake of this video i'm going to make a sharp turn we've gone about four tenths of a mile almost a half a mile so you can see on my map the path that we've taken where we started where we've come to and then we've just made a hard sharp left turn okay we're going to go ahead on the device we're going to click stop so now i'm going to shut the motor off go up and deploy the trolling motor and then come back and show you the next step so now on your remote you're going to see you have a go to button. I'm going to click go to. Then in the bottom right part of your screen, it says eye tracks. I'm going to click that button there. You'll see there's that track that I just recorded. You can run that track to the start or to the end. If you run it to start, it's going to run that backwards. So it's going to take me right over there and we're going to run that track backwards. If I say to end, it's going to take me down to where we began and run the path. So since we're right at the end of it, I'm going to say to start. Welcome to Lake of the Ozarks. We're going to hit the propeller button for the trolling motor to start doing its thing. You'll see it's starting to navigate right now for us. And adjust your speed if you want to. There it goes. It's going to take us down our track. When you're done, just click the cancel button and then turn your motor off. Hey, I hope you found the video helpful. Thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it.